Hey guys, this is Joe. Just wanted to show you some pedal boards here. Uh, we're in a studio somewhere tucked away in Sweden tonight. And uh, this short board or medium sized board, actually it's, it's a quite good sized board, but not compared to that one. <laughs> um, by Solman Pedal Boards from Finland. I just want to show you the ports in the back. So this is my personal board, and I'm coming in here, coming out here, but I can use, you know, for effects loops and different types of routing in the back. So I had them add that to it. In the front, I'm running my tuner first into this compressor, um, the Lindhurst compressor, into a trusty OCD. Everyone knows this pedal. It's like the meat and potatoes of overdrive. And then uh, the Paisley Drive, which sounds great tonight through um, these Sur amps. This one is not being used. Into the Flint, one of the best sounding tremolos I've ever heard. Um, into the JHS, I forgot what it's called, this delay. Do you know what it's called? I don't think it has a name on it. Lucky Cat Delay. Okay, great, thanks. Lucky Cat Delay. <laughs> Into a Diddle Looper. And this is going to come off the board soon. It's going to be uh, in my home studio next to the Kemper. And then we have Carl's board here. Space Station? Yes. Space Station. The Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> and then why don't you run us through this board? Well, uh, let's go, yeah, let's go through the board on the front and then we'll go into the back. On the routings, so starting out. Yeah, so this is the Christmas edition with all the ornaments over here, all the colors. Nice. Yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah. So this board goes into uh, either with a wire or with a with a cord to uh, with a wire with a cord to the ES8, mm -hmm. or you can go wireless from the line six U30. So the uh, the ES8 has two different inputs, A and B. So you can program that inside the ES8. Uh, in the ES8, you have eight different loops. And you also have tuner out, so the tuner is always on. Is this buffered? It's buffer on the input and the output, so you can choose that. Okay. So you can choose where you want to have the, the buffers. Um, you also, in this case, have, as I said, eight uh, loops that I'm using. And on the first loop, I have the Ego from Vampor. Great small size compressor, does the job perfectly. Mm -hmm. My second loop, I used the, uh, the Thomas from Wampler. Super nice, like, I think it's like a clone clone. We had another guitarist here tonight who was using the, the Thomas as a... Buffer. Buffer. <laughs> <laughs> that's super funny. So, yeah, uh, but that's super nice for, like, uh, neck, neck uh, overdrive, neck, mm. Mm, neck pickup. So it's super good. Uh, then I have the old Alberta. I think that's one of my, the, yeah, probably the first like boutique pedal I ever bought. Okay. A long time ago, but I cannot really let go of it because every time I start to think about getting rid of it, I try it and then I kind of you know, yeah, start to like it again. So it's on the board. It's it's like a like a tube screamer ish mm -hmm. thing. So T Rex have some great pedals. Uh, they have another pedal called the Muller. Mm -hmm. That's a great sounding, uh, almost like Keith Richards type of mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. overdrive. I don't use the Alberta mm, so much because I usually, right now I use this with a clean amp, mm -hmm. the Sir Badger. I put it pretty clean with, with a lot of, now it's not, now we have a low volume, like bedroom volume, but usually I try to have some headroom pretty clean so I can use the, the overdrives. And then the Alberta, since it's a tube screamer, I, I, I usually like that in more of a, uh, crunched amplifier or, or something with more distortion on it. But but it's also good to stack other pedals so I can, you know, mm -hmm. front load the uh, the Shiba Drive, for instance. That's pretty good. That's the third loop. Third, fourth loop is the Barefoot Honeybee. Cool, Supro style. Nice overdrive. Pretty good. Rhythm, chords. Yeah, it's good. Um, Shiba Drive. I need a Shiba on every board. I love those. Mm. Those are the best. I always end up with those, whatever I do. 
sixth loop is the Andy Timmons pedal from GHS. Super nice, creamy lead. Now I have it quite, you know, with quite a lot of gain in there, so high gain soloing. Then I go to the amp. After that, usually I go to the amp, and then I go FX send back to the board. Mm -hmm. And then on the seventh loop, I have the Mobius. And on the eighth loop, I share that with Timeline and Big Sky. Because seven and eight, they are stereo loops. So I can do it in stereo. And then I have stereo out, so I can go to two different amplifiers. Great. And we heard before, actually, before we talk about your wet, dry, wet system, let's look at the back. So you have. All right, we're back. Oh, we're back. <laughs> Um, okay. So I have five ins and outs here. And you can lock them? Yeah, so they're lockable. So mm -hmm. you cannot accidentally like, kick them out. Are they mono or are they stereo? They're mono. Mm -hmm. I ordered them mono. You can get them in stereo if you want to. Mm -hmm. The first box I got was in stereo, but I don't, I don't need that many. Mm -hmm. I have in, back to the amp, uh, FX send in here, and then I have two returns if I'm using two amps. So then I can go... To FX return with with two uh, left hand left left and right. So that's pretty good. Oh yeah, this is where the magic. The other happens. side looks like this. So you have power here. It's a Neutrik uh, power con. Mm -hmm. What do you call it when you can twist it like like it's secured? You cannot pull it out if you don't twist it. Okay. I know the Swedish word, but not the English. Um, then you go straight into the SUMA, you have nine, uh, 500 milliamps, I think, in every single output there. So you can, you can power up whatever pedal you will ever uh, use. Um, and then I have one link, 24 volts, to this one, the oh, Strymon Ojai, and that one has another five, nine volts. 500 milliamps. Did you wire this yourself? Yeah, I did. It's nice and clean. Yeah, and it's super nice. Those super smooth cables here from uh, Three Monkeys. Mm -hmm. Super easy to assemble, solderless. solderless. Mm -hmm. You just um, cut the cable, put it in there, goes 5, 6, 360 turns, and then it's done. Super smooth. And you can angle it very easy because it hides in that. Yeah, you can probably see it down there, like that. Or you can keep it straight if you want. Uh huh. So it's super nice. And no issues. No issues at all. That's great. I I have all soldered cables on mine because I've had issues, but not with this brand at all. I had another solderless brand before that I used to use, and um, when I'd be stepping on my pedals on stage, they just start cutting out on me. <clears throat> That was a while ago. That was about uh, eight years ago. So the technology has gone, um, has come quite far since then. Let me show you the bottom of, since we're looking at the bottom of the boards. <clears throat> I'm using EBS cap patch cables on mine. They're uh, soldered cables. And then, let's see if we can lift this up. Here I have a True Tone power, and it's nice and clean setup. Actually, this one was um, cabled by um, Solon pedal boards. And then we have <laughs> this other crazy setup of a wet dry wet system, which sounds amazing. But tonight we're here. <laughs> 